all year round we're preparing for the whale hunt and it's about feeding people about feeding the community and making sure nobody goes hungry and encouraging every able-bodied person to participate in the hunt to keep your culture alive keep your traditions alive so that's why we take our kids out at a young age you know it's something you don't learn overnight you just learn over the years so you know i feel very confident that you know lord willing you know we'll go on for another thousand years and when a whale is caught um, it's a great responsibility uh, on the captain and his wife to make sure that the, the whale is uh, distributed correctly. Um, all the crews that participate in, in harvesting and butchering the whale have a share that they get. All the crews, every person that comes down gets a share. And then there's the uh, areas of the whale that are set aside for uh, the festivities that we're having like right now giving our Eskimo food that we survive on, and hot soup on a cold day. Nagalak soup, or the key soup, or the eider duck soup, I could say. I love eating that. Especially the mikia, the fermented way. I can't wait till they serve that. Muktuk. Yeah. It's always muktuk. The homebrew he's talking about, it can be served at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Fermented walrus, fermented whale. It's really dangerous. I mean, you're in a 20-foot boat paddling, paddling up to a whale that's, you know, 30 to 60 feet big. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, you know, little things that could go wrong. And it, it's just dangerous all the way around. Sleeping out on the sea ice, you know, I mean, there's, there's a possibility, possibility of floating out, you know, with the ice. The current changes, the wind changes, you know, you get a crack, you know, I mean, it, it could happen so fast. Uh, there's close to 20,000 bowhead whales nowadays, and so this, the stock is healthy. Um, we take less than 0.2% uh, of the total population uh, through our harvest. And this is something that has been going on uh, with our people uh, since time immemorial. Um, and it's uh, something that has uh, kept our community strong and working together.